Okay, maybe. Maybe she's totally right about that, but there's something still bothering me. What she said. I need to get some more details about all of this. Alright. Oh god, even her, like, sprite has changed. Status of the dead body. That's, yeah. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone! You say that. Do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking! When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches completely. What more proof do we need? <laughs> Give it up. You killed her. Alright. Okay, I just have to focus on remembering Chihiro's body. That must have... That must have the answer. That should prove what... Yeah, that should prove that what he said isn't quite right. Alright. That's clearly not, no. But do you really expect any of us to believe it? Perhaps if you had an alibi, that would change things. Oh, an alibi, huh? Now we're talking! God, I really hate her voice, god damn it. Past murders to this incident. The modus operandi matches completely. What more modus operandi? <laughs> Give it up. You killed her. The modus operandi. I'm gonna press on that, mostly because I have no idea what the fuck that means. <laughs> Stop using big words on me, goddammit! <laughs> I mean, what other options do I have aside from didn't kill her? When you compare your past murders to the modus operandi matches completely, what more proof? Well, I missed. Give it up. You killed her. Sorry, but I didn't kill anyone. You say that. You really? When you compare your past murders to this incident, the modus operandi matches. I'm gonna... Is that really it? Okay, I'll take it. Mostly a process of elimination the because... of murder really exactly the same? I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, because I've noticed there's scissors on the fucking books, and they used ropes instead. Maybe they couldn't find any scissors, but eh, whatever. I think there's a slight difference between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. Huh? How's it any different? Uh-oh, you don't know? Shut, please shut up. Let me uh, shut, please shut up. I murder with passion and conviction. I consider myself a professional, and I have a very particular way of doing things. Imagine you go to a fancy Italian restaurant. They're very picky about the noodles, the sauce, everything. But what happened to Chihiro? It'd be like if that same Italian restaurant started using ragu or Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Do they have Chef Boyardee in Japan, or is that just a localization thing? This is no creation of mine! So it's a copycat, eh? Is what you're claiming? Let me rephrase that, in a way that maybe makes more sense. There are two clear differences between the Genocide Jack cases and this one. There's one clear difference between the pizza murder. In the photos with the other Genocide Jack cases, look at the neck and stomachs. Here, you'll see it clear. The style of the bloody messages, or... The victim's fatal injury. That's that as well. For one, the cause of death is different. All right. In the genocide Jack murders, all the victims were killed the same way. According to the case file, they were all apparently killed with a pair of scissors. Actually, why is it called a pair of scissors if there's only one scissor? Right. Ah, yes. I know there's like two blades and all that, but. A scissor is basically just two cutting thing. whatever. Wouldn't it be strange for someone who kills the same way without fail to suddenly change their method? Maybe- I'm just saying, like, just- I'm trying not to defend her, but maybe- or sorry, defend- well, well, someone apparently, but maybe they didn't have enough scissors, whatever, to uh, use the murder tool, There's so- more. One more conflicting detail. That's right! In my recipe of murder, if the bloody message is the tortellini, then the arrangement of the body would be the pesto sauce! Could you please stop comparing killing people to cooking? So 
Are you saying the other difference has to do with how the body was arranged? Yeah, but in the situation we're in right now, it's kind of difficult to really do such a thing. That's right, the second difference is related to how she was suspended. In the photos, the other genocide jack cases, all of the other things were stabbed through their hands. Here, you can see clear differences. How the body was posed? No, that's not it. How, sh how she was suspended? Or what was used to suspend her? That could be it as well. When she was suspended? Yeah, that's not it. I got it! Do you remember what the killer used to suspend her? They used some kind of rope to hang her up by her wrists. What is your point? Well, in all the previous Genocide Jack cases, something else was used to suspend them. Specifically, pairs of razor-sharp scissors. And guess what? I use my own specially designed scissors for the murders and the arrangement! Like I said, I'm a professional, so naturally I'm very picky about the tools I use. And yet here you are, and revealing your... Tr well, then again, if you really do reveal your true identity right here and right now... Not only thinking about it, if you're really gonna do all this whole victim shtick, then you're really gonna have to use a different method now, because... It's clearly obvious of what your method is right now. Oh my... Big Mac said there's two differences, God fucking... Big Mac? Are you referring to me? Listen up, Big Mac! There's actually one more difference! Huh? Really didn't notice? It's annoying, but yes, there but were in each genocide jack case. At least it fucking Actually I don't know why I'm fucking Monokuma is pretty annoying, I have to admit, but good god, this is like a Monokuma times ten. Or whatever. You didn't really know Did you really notice it go oh, yeah, whatever, I'm not even bothered to using a voice anymore. Take a look at who the victims were in each of the genocide jack cases. There's a pattern there, just waiting to be discovered. They're all guys? If that's the case, then... And it'll be playing as death why I couldn't have possibly killed that little lolly girl. She was a lolly? What the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. There was a pattern surrounding the Genocide Jack victims and Chihiro didn't fit in. If you look at the names of every victim, what you'll notice is... I think I figured it out now. I know why she couldn't have killed Chihiro. Chihiro was her lover? This is my only guess, I guess. Is it because Chihiro was a girl? Bingo! Bullseye right on the money! <sighs> Can we someone just do a little duct tape on her or something? In the genocide Jack cases, all the victims had something in common. Ken Harada, blah 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 blah. It's not their age, definitely. They were all... Guys? That's right! The people I kill with such passion and conviction are all adorable little men! <laughs> I can't believe I said it! I'm so embarrassed! The hell is wrong with you? I can't help it! I'm just a full throttle boy on boy fangirl! And the mopey side of me just hates it! But now I'm on the fast track to becoming a full fledged fan madam! So since Chihiro was a girl and not an adorable little man, <laughs> you wouldn't kill her? What an Italian chef! And we start making ramen just because they're both noodles? Don't be stupid. Maybe he just wants to expand his horizons for his restaurant. Maybe he just wants to include ramen in the menu as well. Who knows? Passion and conviction to cross that line. <sighs> Absolute reality of the one and only. We get it. You've clearly explained your hobby and your philosophy. But that's not all there is to it. It's a different matter entirely. When you're forced to kill in order to survive. Quiet, lowly car! Lowly, hurt. <laughs> yeah, Kia, you're not actually getting irritated. I thought you were a cool, level-headed person. I would never kill for a reason as petty as mere survival. And if by some fluke I did kill to survive, why would I bother with the message and arrangement? It'd make me the obvious suspect. That does make some amount of sense. That is true, I guess. Whatever reason I have for killing, I would never leave out my prized scissors. I want to know. Sir, everyone, search on her room right now to see if she has all those pairs of scissors. Go out of their way to use a big, stupid, heavy dumbbell. 
Not only that, but I don't see her as strong enough to carry such a dumbbell. Use the dumbbell because you couldn't find any scissors in the school? Any scissors? I don't just use any scissors. I only use my own set of high class envy of the entire world scissors. Okay, whatever. There still aren't any in the school. Are you sure about that? Oh shit! She's loaded. She's fully equipped. That's right. All the guys duck. Anywhere, anytime. Why would I resort to dumbbells or rope when I have my trusty scissors by my side? Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. You can't pin you gutter dogs. Not to mention, I have no clue how to tie a good knot. <laughs> the rope's totally out of the question. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Could such a heinous villain really be innocent? Not only that, but if she really is innocent after all, then having her walk around the fucking school will just... Ugh. The body really was suspended, right? And nobody but the police knew about that. Yeah. That's why we figured it had to be the real deal, and not some copycat killer or whatever. I have a crazy theory. A game... Th no. Maybe she is the copycat killer. I mean, her name is not actually Genocide Jack, but more Genocide Jill. Uh opposite counterpart to that of some sorts at least that's my uh explanation but who knows actually hold on there is one person one person who could have copied the genocide jack case after all he does have but at the same time the huh. so like something well really okay uh hold on a minute be right back um and i actually could pick myself <laughs> It was me! <laughs> okay, be right back. Um, If we're really going through this route and accusing Byakuya of this... Well, first off, I'll actually applaud the game developers for actually going out of their boundaries to make someone who's clearly... <laughs> seems like the, one that per the person that's going to be at the last minute of the game actually die first if he is guilty party. But at the same time, like... Uh, that, I feel like we're jumping the gun here, Makoto. <laughs> I still have the evidence, there's still the evidence of the fucking card, well dang it, the card case could be anything really, honestly, but whatever, well, probably, maybe it actually has to do with the case after all, and maybe I'm just being like a closed-minded freak like Byakuya is, or whatever, be right back.